This is Alyssa. She fell in love with Tom. My husband employs me to take care of the home and I encourage other women to pursue the same dynamic for their future financial success. If you're a feminist at this point in time, you're a clown, right? There are feminists on Reddit who hate me, most of which are single over the age of 30. They called me a white supremacist. Our friend is coming over to get to the bottom of what his opinion of our relationship is. I don't view marriage as an economic relationship. That's just not how I would ever choose to describe it. It's a spiritual relationship. Well, then how do you, okay, so it's spiritual. a spiritual relationship. Okay. We were at the same work for a while and I ended up becoming single, and I thought he was very attractive. So I shot my shot, and apparently it landed, because now I'm married and I have a baby on the way. We've been together, what, two and a half years? So we were engaged, yeah, yeah. and I was going to school. I was also working, but I thought that he was wanting a little bit more attention to the house, to the home, and also, you know, to himself. So I had a sneaking suspicion that it might benefit our relationship if I stayed home. I didn't even know I wanted a traditional relationship. I, honest to God, thought that I wanted a physicist triathlete. So until I got into a relationship with Allie, I didn't even know how wonderful having a traditional relationship where there were gender separations. The agreement was, was that if I sucked at being a homemaker that I would go back to work, but um, I did not suck. I wouldn't say I'm a feminist at all. I think that feminism was all bad. Men love women so much that they would have liberated us after they were fully liberated anyway. I am just of the opinion that feminism was completely unnecessary and that it's a female supremacy movement. You're just in it for the steak and eggs. <laughs> so I do most of the cooking and cleaning. I do most of the laundry as well. He works for a long time. Sometimes it's 10 hours a day. So I just take care of the house while he's gone. I earn more now married than I did when I was in the military and it's the best job I've ever had. I would probably be considered on his bankroll. He pays for my living. There's a health insurance plan. I basically said, hey, look, how much money do you need per week to do fun things? She mm -hmm. said, I need $100 for my snacks and my coffee and I'm like, Okay, we got rid of all her credit cards. We opened up new credit cards under my account. And so now I can see all of her purchases and she's very disciplined. I don't wanna drain my husband. I know some wives, they don't have a conscience with that, but I would prefer if I never had to look at a screen about dollars ever. Today I'm going shopping, obviously on Tom's Dime. She really doesn't ask for a whole lot of stuff that she doesn't need. She's pretty financially disciplined. The alternative is going to an actual job with an actual boss. Keep in mind that's a man that doesn't care about you. You clock in, you clock out, you're not on his mind, he would fire you tomorrow. My husband is not going to fire me tomorrow. I think that it's much more romantic than that, but if we have to call it labor, it's not the worst job out there. I haven't received anything but positive feedback from my friends. Um, They're probably high-fiving you, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, I wasn't going to say that, but yeah, there, there is a lot of that, right? Because all my buddies are in their late 40s, early 50s, like myself, and they're like, damn, dude, you got a 27-year-old? I'm like, mm-hmm. There's been controversy surrounding the age gap. I am 28 years old. I'm 51. I think my mom was really worried. I was wondering, how did you really feel when I started dating Tom? Just a little skeptical because of the age difference, but... You can tell us what you really thought. I didn't think it was gonna go. I thought it was just, you know. So you thought but, we were gonna break up or something? Maybe, I don't like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Did you not want it to last? It's okay if you didn't. Oh, I, it's either way, it, it, you know, it, <laughs> I couldn't predict. How do you feel about me spreading my messages online? They're a little controversial, but, um. I don't like the comments that some people make. I would just want to go in there and go, eh. <laughs> Online, I would say that I get the most judgment because I'm a content creator. A woman wanting to work is very Why different. Why are male sexual women? appetites suppressed? If you're a feminist at this point in time, you're a clown, right? There's a lot of assumptions, right? I do this for a brand. I do this because I'm uneducated. I do this because I'm lazy. And then, you know, there's that fun racial element. My favorite racial joke that I've gotten was lady in the streets colonized in the sheets. I thought that was really creative. <laughs>
they also called me a white supremacist. And I was like, okay, I'm dating a Latina woman and I'm a white supremacist. There are feminists on Reddit who hate me, most of which are single over the age of 30. I just want women to know that they have other options out there. Sometimes I've been accused of being a gold digger. She asked for a hundred dollars a week. What kind of gold digger wants that? Actually, there's a lot of positive comments from <laughs> women who feel like they've finally been seen. It's the positive comments that I get from women in that context that really let me know that I'm doing the right thing. Our friend is coming over to get to the bottom of what his opinion of our relationship is. I know that she has a YouTube channel and that uh, it's pretty successful. From what I understand, she sells the idea that you don't necessarily have to be uh, a professional, that it's okay to uh, be a housewife. Do you think it's wrong for Alyssa to be employed by Tom? Here's what I think. Hey, here's my offer. I will provide you a home, a house, protection and provision. What I ask for in return is support, a clean house, so that I can go out into the world and focus on the external world. Mm -hmm. I just think that it's the right thing to do to give you a return on investment. If you have to put it in economic terms, fine, but it's just doing the right thing in a marriage. You take care of me, I take care of you. It's a good bankroll to be on. I don't view marriage as an economic relationship. I know that you can analyze it that way. Just to clarify, how I describe it, that's an economic mode. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. that's, a, that's but, an yeah. economic way of describing okay. it. Because I didn't know that I was describing yeah. it that way. No, no, it, it is. There is an economic relationship there. That's just not how I would ever choose to describe it. You make a commitment yeah. to that other person, right. right? So that commitment isn't about like, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z in exchange for ABC. You're gonna miss the big picture. Mm -hmm. I've only ever really used an economic lens because like literally women would rather, s some women these days, they're just completely content to follow the leadership of an employer that doesn't care about them. And if you were to tell them that they could depend on a good man financially, they just would rather stay at that job instead of having to cooperate, I would even say, with mm -hmm. a man. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to save these women. So yeah, never, these never, ungrateful women. A big corporation ain't ever gonna care about you, okay? Yeah. Like your spouse, there's a chance. <laughs> I'd boil it down to biology. You're never gonna take away the genetics and the biology of it. Because I am in my masculine and I'm able to go out and provide the resources, I feel great. I think most modern relationships are unhappy. I think men act like women. I think women act like men. And when they get together, they have a really unbalanced dynamic. I think the entire culture that we have right now in America wants you to be single, fat, depressed, and childless. So if you are going to be counter to that, it's uh, it's gonna be a rough go. We have a relationship with, with ourselves that make us relatively happy, and then we come together, and then we have a happy marriage. 